Welcome to my lecture online. Here we're starting a new series on Ohm's Law and resistor circuits. In its simplest term, a circuit will contain a voltage source, such as a battery. It will contain some sort of resistance, which can be represented by a single resistor. And when we connect it as a complete circuit, a complete loop, a current will flow through the circuit. Ohm's Law is therefore defi defined as follows. The amount of current flowing through a circuit is proportional to the voltage applied to the circuit and inversely proportional to the resistance of the circuit. In other words, I is equal to V over R. The amount of current flowing through the circuit is proportional to the voltage and inversely proportional to the resistance in the circuit. Which means that if we double the voltage, we get twice as much current. If we double the resistance, we only get half as much current. So the more voltage we apply to the circuit, the greater the current, and it's proportional to that. The more resistance we have in the circuit, the less current that will flow, and it's inversely proportional to that. As an example, let's say that we have a battery that contains, or that applies 20 volts to the circuit, and we have a resistance in the circuit of 5 ohms. The current can then be calculated as follows. It is V over R, the voltage divided by the resistance. So in this case, it's 20 volts divided by 5 ohms, and that gives us 4 amps. And indeed, the unit for current is amps. An amp is 1 coulomb per second. So 1 amp is defined as 1 coulomb of charge flowing past a given point in the circuit in 1 second. So there we have it. That's Ohm's law, and that is what governs the amount of current flowing through a circuit, and it will also govern the amount of voltage drop we have across the components in the circuit, and we'll show you how to do that later. But that's where we start with Ohm's law, and now we'll go ahead and explore the simple circuits that have resistors in parallel, resistors in series, and then how to find the current and the voltages in those circuits. That's how we do it.